Blount's disease. Blount's disease refers to the growth disturbance of the medial part of the proximal tibial feces. Um, there is an acute genu varum with internal rotation. Genu referring to the knee and varum um, outbowing. Okay, this can be separated into either your infantile or your juvenile categories. So infantile is when the patient presents below the age of three, and these are usually bilateral cases, meaning that there is a guinea varum and well as your internal rotation in both legs. Whereas in juvenile, also known as your late onset, they can be uh, between the ages of four to 10. And if it is presenting beyond the age of 11, we consider that an adolescent presentation. Okay. Under clinical presentation, they usually present with your proximal tibial location of bowing, sharply angular deformity, asymmetrical bowing, progressive deformity, lateral thrust during your gait, and sometimes these could lead to severe deformities. On radiography, you do a standing AP or anterior posterior x-ray with your patella facing forward. You measure the metaphysial diaphysial angle, and if it is less than 10%, 95% of these cases will resolve without further medical intervention. If the metaphysial diaphysial angle is greater than 10%, 95% of these cases will progress and need further treatment. Under treatment, that can either be non-surgical or surgical. Non-surgical, also known as conservative treatment of Blount's disorder, would include your bracing um, in your mild disease, and there should be improvement within one year after starting treatment. And if this treatment fails, then that is an indication for surgical treatment. Surgical treatment of Blount's disease would be proximal tibial osteotomy.